What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army, man. That's news for y'all today. Now, some of this news is concrete. Some of this news we just got to play by ear. But if you guys didn't see the video that I posted yesterday, I basically just let y'all know, man, like, what's going on with the size 14s out there. It's tough for y'all size 14 because as of lately, Jordan Brand has been doing size 13, skipping 14s, and then just doing size 15. Now, I, mean, I know I said next year doesn't seem that promising for Jordan Brand, but like I literally was thinking yesterday about what could be the next big Air Jordan 1 that we get in 2023. I found an image of the Air Jordan 1 High 85, the black and white pair that we're supposed to be getting next year. Now, these should be dropping in February. Generally, when we get an 85 high, they always drop in February. So that's when I'm expecting those. That would be the second OG high 85 that was an OG color. Y'all know how I feel, Army. I've said that Jordan Brand should have introduced that shoe with all OG colors. That way, we could have got accustomed to a new Air Jordan 1 with familiar colorways. They start doing all them reverse breads and the... Uh, airship pack a lot of people wasn't familiar with it and that's why i feel like for the most part the reverse breads didn't do that well because a lot of people said they looked like a mid colorway and the airship pack you have to buy the whole pack just to get at least one shoe that you really really wanted so i am excited that jordan brand is bringing back the high 85s in the black and white colorway hopefully the next time we see any any kind of air jordan one chicago will be in the air jordan one high 85 Chicago colorway. Now, I feel like it's gonna take some time before we see those. Of course, we just got the Air Jordan 1 lost and found. The Jordan brand and Nike doing their traditional recycling of Air Jordan 1 OG retros. We probably won't see these for like another seven years. And while I do have these in hand, Army, I do wanna let you guys know that tomorrow, DTLR is finally dropping their Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. Now, Soul Links had tweeted this out yesterday. It was around like 6.45. I took the screenshot. It said Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Chicago dropping Wednesday, November 30th via DTLR. Army, this wasn't the restock that we all were expecting to get. We know how it is on DTLR, man. Like, I've gotten dubs on DT. I've taken more dubs on DTLR this year than FLX, Hibbits, and like a couple other websites. So I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, DTLR did me dirty this year. I'm not going to do that. But I already know, like, when it comes to these, like, it's going to be some trouble, man. Yeah, men's dropping tomorrow, grade school, preschool, and toddler. So the full shebang is dropping at... DTLR tomorrow, Army. So, I mean, we can still go live for it. If y'all got faith, if y'all want to be optimistic, you know what I'm saying? We we love getting our dubs. I know it's going to be tough, and it's literally going to be the only site. So just imagine how it was on Sneakers app. That's probably how it's going to be on DTLR tomorrow. Probably not as crazy because I don't want to say I don't think people know as much about DTLR as they do Sneakers app. But for the most part, Sneakers app is the main shebang. Now, yesterday in the video, Army, I did let y'all know that a member of the Army hit me up and let me know that he spoke with a Nike rep yesterday. Now, when it comes to certain information like this, Army, for the most part, I just take this with like a grain of salt. Because I'm like, bro, did you have a transcript? He said he didn't. He had a phone call with him and which that 100% could be true. I'm not doubting my mans. What I am doubting is kind of like the Nike reps because it seems like sneakers app and the sneakers app reps and the nike reps like the people that we talk to the customer service reps they don't really know as much as the actual people you know handling this stuff but yesterday my man did let me know that he said that the rep said that again army this is what the rep told him via phone conversation again i'm gonna just take it with a grain of salt but the air jordan one lost and found should have a restock on sneakers app or second chance, however they may drop it, December 10th. That they supposed to be restocking the same day that the Air Jordan 11 cherries come out. Now, I mean, we've had big releases and second chances happen like an hour later, like that's not a surprise, but the fact that they actually told him that on the phone. Now, the reason why he called was because his Air Jordan 1 lost and founds had mold on them, so he was just trying to call, of course, either the maybe get a discount i know another member of the army hit me up and let me know that he messaged nike or talked to nike they wind up giving him a full refund and he wind up keeping his pair of the era jordan one lost and found so 
he basically got a free pair. Another member of the Army hit me up the other day, said his loss of pounds came in. He thought that he was supposed to be getting his my years, but he wound up getting another pair of loss of pounds. So Buddy wound up getting a free pair of loss of pounds. Like, this stuff like that never happens to me. When people get a package from Nike and they wind up sending them two shoes or they wind up sending them the wrong shoe, like, this happens, I don't want to say it happens frequently, but it does happen, but it just never happened to your boy, Army. So, again, as far as the Air Jordan 1 loss of fouls, those joints are dropping tomorrow on DTLR. Good luck. Y'all know how it is. 9 out of 10, we still going to go laugh for it. And as far as like a sneakers restock or a sneakers second chance, my man said that those are supposed to drop again the same day the Air Jordan 11 cherries drop. And I said, Army, if anything, if Nike was to restock the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds or the Air Jordan 1 Chicago's, whatever you call them at this point, they're going to do it before Christmas just to still give people enough time to put these joints under the tree. So to be honest, it makes sense to drop them the day of the Lost and Founds. That way they're shipping out both of them at the same time. But again, I'm holding that with a grain of salt. I do think that Nike should restock, and I got a feeling we will have a restock. I just can't say it's that exact date. But again, that's what the member of the Army said, the Nike rep said. So I guess we could put a placeholder right there. But still, I'm taking it with a grain of salt. This right here, again, was just one of those things that I was thinking about. Brown was in the lab yesterday, and we were just trying to see what's the next Air Jordan 1. I want to say I talked to my boy Davon about it too, and maybe my boy Justin. I think I talked to a couple people about this. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I know I've been talking to a couple people about this. But Air Jordan 1 Chicago's, it's been seven years since we've seen those. You go to 2016, we got two OG Air Jordan 1s. We got Air Jordan 1 Black Toes in 2016, and we got the Air Jordan 1 Breads, or the Bands, in 2016, which will make seven years since we last seen the Air Jordan 1 Black Toes and the Air Jordan 1 Bands. Now. 2023, we're not getting the OG high in the Air Jordan 1 bands. We're getting the Air Jordan 1 low black toes, and which I'm excited for, Army. Y'all know I've been rocking with Air Jordan 1s for like, I'd say like the last two years I've really been, I've really gotten over my not liking Air Jordan 1 lows. And then again, it's going to be the seventh year that we've seen the Air Jordan 1 branch. Now, I don't think we're going to get an 85 high in this next year. But I do feel like we're going to get some type of rendition. I'm just following the patterns. We didn't get it this year, but we should have gotten another rendition of the Air Jordan 1 UNCs. But we're supposed to be getting those next year. Okay? So, I don't think we're going to get the traditional Air Jordan 1 breads. I feel like we're going to get something different. I honestly feel like we even might get something with the X on the back. Jordan Brand did try to give us the X on the back with the Rebellionaires. I don't think it went as hot as they thought it would have they should have put it on the shoe that the band x really represents so army i do feel like next year we will be getting the air jordan one bread they always give us a nice 85 high with a nice colorway that kind of give us that og vibe and again since it is seven years since we did last see the bands or the bread and wish that seven years flew army it seemed like about two three years ago we just now got the air jordan one bread and then after the bread then it's going to be the Royals. And then after the Royals, it's going to be the Shadows. And it's always like a recycling of the Retro 1 OG colorways because they always move. They always sell out. So, Army, let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about the potential. And this is just me, Army. This ain't Z Sneakerhead. This ain't none of the other social media platforms on Instagram. This is just me following like the pattern that Jordan Brand normally does. And again, we got the Chicago's this year. It only makes sense. And on top of that, they giving us the Air Jordan 1 Celtics that came in a DMP pack. And what came in a DMP pack with it? The Air Jordan 1 Breads. Now, that, again, that don't mean we going to get them. I just got a hankering that we going to get the Air Jordan 1 Breads next year. So, Army, y'all let me know how y'all feel about all of the information that I gave y'all today regarding the Air Jordan 1 Black Toe Lows, Air Jordan 1 High Black and White that's dropping in February, potential release of the Air Jordan 1 Breads again next year, Air Jordan 1 Chicago is restocking on DTLR tomorrow, and a possible restock the same day as the Air Jordan 11 cherries that'll be a huge day for jordan brand and nike and seeing how adidas is kind of down right now with not putting out no yeezys jordan brand can really capitalize on that date army so i love you guys i appreciate y'all and other than that you got your boy unbreakable you got the unbreakable vote 
Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones and of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get him easy. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.